Welcome and thank you for clicking on part five of our seven day Norwegian epic cruise that we took back in March of 2022. Uh, just a couple of things. First, I want to apologize about the pronunciation of the name of the island we were at in the last video, which is Grenada. Thankfully, we did have someone in the comments let me know about my little mistake there. So I appreciate the heads up. Secondly, we're going to be making some changes to the channel. We're going to be modifying it from my name to holiday with the Hartmans. So we hope you guys appreciate the changes we're making to the channel as we continue to put out more videos. And we would appreciate you guys liking and of course subscribing if you enjoy it and you want to see more. Um, the third thing is this video is from our stopover in St. Lucia. The island was actually shut down and the only way you could get off the boat is if you had an excursion. So we booked an excursion on a catamaran, which took us to a public beach to go swimming. And then we proceeded to go and see uh, the Pitons, which was an absolutely amazing experience overall. And I highly suggest it to anyone that's interested in going to St. Lucia. We hope you enjoy the video. We started off the day by watching some storms rolling past St. Lucia as we were getting closer and we grabbed some breakfast up in the garden cafe. Luckily, all of the rain was gone by the time we got to the island. Only one other ship was in the port that day, and like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you could only get off the ship if you had an excursion booked. This was back when cruising was still just trying to get back up and running, and due to COVID restrictions, it was very tight at some of the ports we went to. set out from the port area and sailed towards a public beach for a quick swim. The crew on the ship were extremely friendly and just overall fantastic. Before we went swimming, they did have their bar open for non-alcoholic drinks so that they made sure no one was too intoxicated before going swimming.
The water was a little chilly where we were swimming, but I figured that was mostly because it was still somewhat early in the day when we arrived. The water was absolutely gorgeous, and we really enjoyed our time there. We kind of wished that we had brought our own snorkeling gear with us, but if we go back, we'll make sure to remember. After the swimming, the boat's crew brought out the alcoholic punch and let us start drinking. The alcohol was included in the price of the excursion, but they did accept tips as well. The punch was a mix of different juices and rum and was quite strong, but very easy to drink and everyone seemed to enjoy it. We made a quick stop at the bottom of the Pitons and were able to take some good photos with the mountains in the background. If we go back, I think we will try to go on an excursion that allows us to maybe hike up the mountains. On the way back, the captain opened up the sails and picked up some speed, and the crew brought out a microphone with a karaoke setup. We got some great music playing, people were dancing, singing, and overall having a wonderful time. It is hard to pick one of our favorite ports from this trip, but this was definitely up there as one of the best. Once we got back to the ship, we just grabbed a couple of drinks and took it easy after a day of enjoying the catamaran.
Later on, we grabbed some ice cream and wandered over to the glow party. We were really exhausted and they only were doing the family version at that time. We hope if we make it back on the ship, we can somehow find a way to stay up and enjoy the adult real party.